Clint Eastwood is a Hollywood powerhouse. At age 91, he's directed over 40 films and TV series and starred in over 70 productions. Eastwood has received multiple awards and nominations for his work, including Academy Awards, Directors Guild of America Awards, Golden Globe Awards, and People's Choice Awards. While most actors and directors would have slowed down once reaching their 60s, Eastwood kept his foot on the throttle and continues to push himself creatively. With Clint Eastwood's many professional successes also came many successes in his personal life. Clint Eastwood's son, Scott Eastwood, has spent more than a decade molding his own career on the silver screen. While the future of Scott Eastwood's career in Hollywood sure looks promising, he also has some dark details within his life. Join us as we take a deeper look into the life of Scott Eastwood, the tragedy he suffered, and the unusual father-son relationship with Hollywood legend Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood's son, Scott Eastwood. Scott Eastwood not only has to live under the shadow of his father, he's even taking on the family business. Their relationship was far from normal, let alone perfect, but Scott has overcome obstacles to create an increasingly successful career. While starring in Clint Eastwood's own films, Flags of Our Fathers, Grand Torino, and Invictus, the latter opposite Academy Award winner Matt Damon, Scott starred in the critically acclaimed Fury. Other high-profile projects include Oliver Stone's Snowden, and comic book adaptation Suicide Squad. Since then, Scott Eastwood's career skyrocketed as he joined the Fast and the Furious franchise. Since then, Scott Eastwood's career has skyrocketed as he joined the Fast and the Furious franchise in The Fate of the Furious. His on-screen charm and Eastwood good looks no doubt helped in his casting in the role of Eric Reisner, the unofficial replacement to the late Paul Walker. Scott took on the lead role in 2018's Pacific Rim Uprising, the sequel to the 2013 Guillermo del Toro blockbuster. On top of that, he just starred in Guy Ritchie's action drama Wrath of Man, opposite Fate of the Furious co-star Jason Statham. Scott Eastwood had a complicated family. Scott is a spitting image of his father. Considering his good looks and proving himself as an up-and-coming actor to keep an eye on, you'd think having his father's name would be a blessing. However, being Clint Eastwood's son hasn't prevented multiple tragic details of Scott Eastwood's life. For starters, Scott Eastwood's family life has been a complicated one. Clint Eastwood, known for his many sexual relationships, has eight children from six different mothers. Scott and his sister Catherine share the same mother, Jacqueline Reeves. Reeves was a flight attendant, who Clint had an affair with for several years. Their relationship eventually came to an end in 1990. According to GQ Australia, on Scott's birth certificate where it should list the name of the father, it simply says, Father Declined. Eastwood's two children, Catherine and Scott, had a relationship with their father, but they grew up in Hawaii with their mother. Clint Eastwood is known for his old-school mentality, and this was none more evident than with Scott's upbringing. Growing up, Clint didn't give Scott money, and he certainly didn't help his son break into Hollywood. Scott's been outspoken about this, explaining his father was tough on him. He never gave him a cent and made him work for everything. Scott Eastwood's girlfriend died in a car accident. In 2016, Clint Eastwood's son Scott confessed about a tragic event from his life that still haunts him. In an interview with GQ Australia, Scott explained a girl he was dating was killed in a car accident. It was simply a fender bender, but Scott explained there was a recall on airbags. In the accident, his girlfriend's airbag exploded and shot a projectile through her body. It split her spine in a fatal and freak accident. Scott had never publicly spoken about the tragic event before. It affected him in a deep and emotional way, and he admitted it's made it harder for him to date. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to Factsverse for more. Clint Eastwood's son wasn't an Eastwood for a number of years. While Scott Eastwood has certainly had difficulties in his life, his Hollywood journey has been associated with the Eastwood name even without him having it. It wasn't just money that Clint Eastwood didn't give his son. Scott didn't get his famous last name either. This changed in 2008 after Scott had already found some modest success. He explained he thought it was silly to not carry on the Eastwood name. Before this, Scott had been auditioning with his mother's maiden name, Reeves. At the same time, he took up numerous side jobs like parking cars and working construction to make extra money. Without handouts from his father, he had to go and work for it. Scott has never fully adapted to the Hollywood lifestyle. Instead, he's chosen to live in San Diego, where he's able to keep a low profile. He explains there's no pretentiousness there, and no one trying to climb the social ladder. In San Diego, it's just people living their lives, and he's happy to be based there. 
being Clint Eastwood's son will inevitably bring a variety of opinions from outsiders, the most common being he's an overnight success. But this couldn't be further from the truth. It's taken a long time for Scott to find his footing in Hollywood, whether his father is a legend in Tinseltown or not. The Eastwood father-son duo have come closer together. While Scott didn't see his father often when growing up, they've since formed a solid bond. In an interview with Esquire in 2016, the pair were interviewed together for the first time. They opened up about their relationship and shared some eye-opening details. It was when Scott was a teenager that the two began to grow closer. While Scott grew up with his mother in Hawaii, he eventually moved to California to live with his father. Clint described his son as a pretty good kid and not much of a problem. He continued saying that Scott's mother gave him a lot of values because she's a good person. Scott explained that living with his father was an interesting time, confirming what everyone knows by describing Clint as, quote, definitely old school. He praised Clint for raising him with integrity, making a point to be places on time, to show up and work hard. Scott gave details about what it was like to live with his father. He described it as getting the law laid down. While this might have felt harsh at the time, Scott now looks at it as having weapons in his war chest. Being made to hustle, claw, and fight for what he has has certainly toughened him up for life on the silver screen. When asked how he can stand next to his father while still forging his own identity, he said he follows the inspiration of his father. In the same way Clint continues to push ahead and create no matter how old he gets, Scott pushes forward the same way. He refuses to look back or think about outside circumstances. His focus remains on making movies with the hope of making some good ones too. Clint described his son as smart. While doing the work and moving from project to project, it's important to learn from everything you do. This is something Clint finds very important, and he's pushed Scott into following the same principles. The looks, the talents, the mindset, the work ethic, the apple certainly didn't fall far from the tree. And it's exciting to see what the future holds for Clint Eastwood's son, Scott. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Scott has what it takes to build a career like his father? Or is he likely to forever be overshadowed by the Hollywood legend? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to Factsverse for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.